Welcome back, we're the Rum Junkies. He's Dan, I'm Sean, and it's cold in here. And we're gonna tell you <laughs> what label you should or should not buy for $50 the next time you go to A Total Wine. Yeah. Okay, so truth be told, we have never had any of these. We know sourcing on some of them, uh, others are just kind of uh, MGPs, there's some craft. Um, we were there at Total Wine. I said, Dan, we should just pick four labels we've never heard of under $50 and just try to find a good one, see what happens. Um, and then there were two employees, Tyler and Hunter, and Dan was like, hey, why don't you guys just pick two? Um, so they picked the uh, the Bluff Springs and the Winchester. So, shout out to those guys. Let's see, all of these were at max $49.99 pre-tax in Michigan, Total Wine. Yeah. A lot of these, I think some of these are Total Wine labels. So in theory, you should be able to find most of these at most Total Wines. I don't know if any of them are worth drinking or not. Uh, I picked uh, Gypsy Whiskey, just because I like the label. It looks nice. That one's cool. And then I went with the Filibuster Straight Bourbon Whiskey, dual cask, friend, finished in French oak barrels. I heard something really interesting about Filibuster. Why's that? We'll find it with our mouths. Oh. Yep. No! Um, I ended up <laughs> picking this one, couldn't read it. Let's see, McFarlane's Reserve Select Cast Strength Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Okay. I picked it because it has proof and it was like $49.99. And then uh, the special release Wolcott Authentic Kentucky Made Bourbon Fine Chart American Oak Distilled by Barton 1792 and it's 90 proof. And Barton's just throwing that name out to everyone right now. Yeah, Barton is allowing everybody to put that on their labels. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's definitely some acclimation whiskey over there, buddy. Yeah, you drink that, and uh, before we move on, today is actually John Kay's day, so he's got a little uh, Elmer T. Lee on his shelf. Thank you, John, for the support. I wish Worst I liked Worst whiskey I've ever had in my life. <clears throat> All right, before we get back to the rest of the video, we gotta talk to you about this beautiful product called Z-Biotics. One of our favorite sponsors that we work with. It's a little uh, probiotic action to help break down the toxic byproduct of drinking alcohol, which, you know, we kind of do. I'm going to stop you right there, Chief, before you, you, you do this. Um, so Z-Biotics, like I said, is a scientifically engineered probiotic that all you got to do is before you drink, you do this. Watch. Shake you, it, open it, drink it. I didn't even shake it. I watched you shake it. <laughs> That's fair. Drink it. And then you go on with your night. You have a couple oh. drinks, you have a couple waters, you have a good night's sleep, you wake up feeling better than you would have if you didn't. Yeah. Listen, it's just one of those things that we end up taking before Tuesday night live streams. It's a staple for us. When you know you're gonna have a few drinks or you're gonna go out on the weekend or even for July 4th, realistically, popping up here pretty soon. We got one of them big old holidays coming up. There's gonna be some hot dogs, you're gonna have some drinks, you're gonna be having a good time. Yeah. Why not have a good morning? Yes. Drink a little z bags before. It's yeah. just going to work great for you. And if you don't like it or have a bad experience, there's a 100% money get back guarantee if you're unsatisfied, no questions asked. So you can literally just go give it a try. And if it didn't work you for you, it works great for us. But if it didn't work for you, lose. there's no risk. So go check it out. Click the link down below. Use code Bourbon Junkies, all caps, or scan the QR, QR code. code. You can do any Put of those right things. There. When you check out, if you subscribe or sign up for the subscription, it gives you a bigger discount even. Yeah, so you can subscribe, get it down. Uh, even lower. I always have this on hand yeah. for your drinking needs. Yeah, it's 15% off with our code. Subscribe for a bigger discount. It's great stuff. Sean and I use it weekly and yeah. we love it. So we Order hope you guys products. love it too. Support the people supporting us. Thank you, you Z-Bax, for working with the channel. We appreciate it. As always, back to the video. Back to the video. Just All right. Making this harder. Let's do this, same play. That smells like cheap whiskey. It smells like lemon. Just not anything else. Just lemon. lemon. And grass, I guess. Maybe like a lemongrass. It smells youthy. Mm -hmm. It oh. smells thin. So not all of these were $50. We should preface that. Not every one of these is 50. Some, Some of these were 50, but. Oh, there's a little something going on. Oh, a little chocolatey. I don't hate that. Okay. Might be a little too harsh on it. What's up? You should have had, oh, you should. <laughs> I had Evan Williams first. It is very youthy. And I feel like I still need the acclimation. Like, very youthy. I got a lot of ethanol in the back. Honestly, it's more viscous than I it's expected. It's like 90 proof. A lot no, of ethanol, I know. Huh? Well, all you're tasting is alcohol. There's no flavor. It's just alcohol flavor. It's the flavor like of ethanol. I don't dislike that. You mm -hmm. can taste ethanol on fucking vodka. There's like a little something on there. And that's like 70 proof. 
41. I gave it a 56. That's got a weird... It's got a finish on there. It's a little something. Sour. Well, from your blind last night, I ain't trusting your palate. I did great on the second one. Ooh, okay. That tastes like marker, dude. That's what it is. There's a, there's a little something on this one. Sample two, I got a little citrusy note on that. Like a nice orange. Ooh, this smells like a mm. baguette, French toast. It's bready as hell. God, you're hungry. It's so bready. I ate most of my sandwich. It's almost like cinnamon, Ooh. raw wood. I wonder if this is a double oak one. It's... That has some flavor on it. Very young flavor. That is uh, really, really, really young. It feels like a little nutty, pretty dang sharp. It might be like two years old. Yeah. Over under two. Uh, right at, because that's probably like a straight or something. I might give that a higher score though. I'm going 50 on the dot. I give it an 18. <laughs> oh my gosh, You dude. like that one more than the first uh, one? Yeah, because the first one tastes like it wasn't intentional. This tastes intentional, just young. This tastes like neutral grain spirit, the first one did. I thought that about the second one more. Oh man, maybe they're mixed up. Eh, hopefully not. Third one. Trace, there's something a little delicate in that. This one's very soft. Like a nice pear. This one's also just calm. Like <laughs> uh, A little bit of that fruit cocktail juice out yeah, there. Yeah, this one smells the best so far. It's yeah. the lightest, but it smells the best. It's like barely there. Maraschino cherry, I guess. A little thin. That tastes like pears. That's weird. Canned pears. Not like a fresh, ripe pear. Like a canned pear. It's like a film in that, my mouth from that. Yeah, that's odd. Man, that's really weird. Uh, Are all of these some form of real whiskey? <laughs> Some form of real whiskey. Well, I don't yeah. want to say bourbon because they might not all be bourbon, but you yes, can be. Yes, they're all whiskeys. None of them are flavored. None of them are neutral grain spirited. None of them are, you know what I'm saying? Not that I know of. That'd be real shitty for 50 bucks. Oh, that's true. Well, one of these um, is like 20 or 30. I go, I'm going to give, that's the best one so far. I'll give it 64. Okay. Um. Like the Nintendo. I don't. You know, I'm going to give that a 66. I actually, I don't. I don't hate that. Pear's the best note on that. It yeah. smells like, not like a good ripe pear, but it smells like a pear. Yeah. It you get the like idea of what a pear would taste like. A metal can of old pears, but they weren't rotten. It's a little, Tinny. it's got that like weird, it's filmy. I don't know what the finish is about, but all right. Fourth one. Okay. This smells great. Okay. Can I please smell your glass? That smells great. Man. What is your deal There's today? a note I don't like on that. Could you tell me the note? This smells like manure. Um, manure. Yeah. What is your deal today? Well, I like that one. You're getting rocked I just like that one. Um, it's got some woodiness about it. It smells sweet. Musty. I think it's that woody aspect. Like it's got a little bit of that wood funkiness on it, but I think you're just on one today. It's got a lot of tobacco on the back. Oh, that one's got actually a little spice though that's nice. Like I it, think it's got a little bit of that bacon spice going on. Bacon or baking? Baking. Um, bacon. You know what I'm talking about. Well, it's not, you that said damn, bacon. That I'm bacon like, I'm just interested to hear what that is. Kevin Bacon. The This is, um, I would say like seemingly the most complex one so mm -hmm. far. It's got the most going on. Whether you like it or not, it's one thing. It's I got the most going on. actually enjoy that. I don't. There's nothing really offensive with it. It drinks like a bourbon. Um, it's sweet. There's a tiny bit of a finish. That's pretty good. I got nothing wrong with that. Um, I, that's gotta be the best one though. 75. Yeah, that's fair. I was, I'll go 70. Okay. It's got, that's the best one that so one? far. So far, yeah, that's Because really it has good. a finish. I mean, it actually has more than one flavor. It's not the thinnest by any means. I was going to say, there's actually some viscosity to yeah. it. Like, look, you can actually see it yeah. clinging on you there. You can feel it. And the, yeah. the spice, that baking spice lingers, yeah. which none of these have had yet. So I Like, honestly, if someone, if I was over and someone was like, you want a glass of this? Mm, yeah, okay. Not upset with it. Um, They could do worse. They could do significantly better. Yeah, okay. Old Forster 86. Okay. Honestly. You're a real hater. $22. <laughs> oh. Okay. Are all these just running together? Oh, okay. This is the one. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Little musty, wet cardboardy note, but it's, your nose is broken, dude. It's sweet behind that, like a red fruit. So mm. you get a, a little bit of cinnamon on it. 
weird. It's like a cinnamon and cherry. It's, it kind of reminds me of like really young turkey. And that's, I, I can see that. I got a score already. If that is not one of the youngest ones. Oh. Yeah, that tastes like nuts. Man, that hit different. You tell me my nose is bad. I sniffed that, smelled that, tasted that, and I was right. I want you to know that. That tastes like about a half a year old. Um, I'm gonna give that a nice even give, 20. Give that a 30 on the dot. That, Oof. you say my nose is broke. I'm right here on this one. I Minor. was right. I do have a lot of allergies going on. You know today. what the shitty part is? There was a note on the nose I loved that wasn't in the palette. It was a secret. She would, did not exist. I was tricked by it. was a secret. The, All right. That's gotta be Gypsy. Final one. That has to be. Cause it reminds me of being Tricks tricked. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, hell. Well, this smells like wheat. That is wild. It's, it's, uh, that's like green or um, spring floral, like I, it's, fresh, like spring. Yeah, but it's a uh, tart green apple skins. It almost smells like rain. Go on. You know what rain smells like. When it's gonna rain, it smells like it. That's true. Yes, it smells like that. It's a uh, like a very human thing to be able to smell that, by the way. Really? Yeah. Animals don't know that? I don't think so. Idiots. I, 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 gotta, I gotta fact check myself on that <laughs> one. But I thought it was um, human can detect uh, weather, like rain changes better. better than like anyone else. Interesting. Yeah. I the, mean, honestly, that's the, probably the best man, one. Man, this reminds, oh no. What? I just went, this reminds me of 1792 small batch. Oh, you think it's just the, uh, I, this one's the Barton one. That Woolcott. Rem this reminds me of 1792 small batch. Does it? It's definitely I, fruity. It, it smells more floral, but obviously this is gonna be a significantly younger mm -hmm. like rendition. Why is that drink like Willet though? That's boutique -y. Yeah, right? Whoa. Isn't that weird? You know what this reminds me of? Um, this reminds me of the 1792 small batch that you got that we didn't like. A little bit. Like that it's off just profile. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like super off profile, but it's got those weird red floral. I can smell notes. this all day though. I legitimately like the nose on whatever the one this one is. It's floral as hell. Yeah. Like for real. Yeah. That smells like wheat, which is interesting. I don't think any of these are wheaters. Um, it just has that note of like a wheat note. I got. I like. That. I got a. I got a grade on that. Whenever. I'm gonna. I need one second. Do I like that the most? Objectively, where am I at with that? There's only two in this whole lineup that have finishes on them. Yeah, that's one of them. And that is the other one. I'm gonna give that a flat 70. Went 82. Wow, okay. That's easily my, the most, that's the most complex. And I think probably the most like roundabout, you could give it to almost anyone. So our hand. highest looking at the scores pretty easily are four and six. I hold them down. You cycle through them. Okay, so if you want to grab that. All right, are you ready? Yeah, so sixth place, dead Results. last, um, would be glass number five. And um, that was 50 points. Bluff Springs. Tyler picked this, and Hunter said, I think Tyler's gonna win because that's probably the best one. That is not our profile, I'm sorry, um, sir. I don't know if this, maybe this is like really young Green River, maybe? maybe. I don't know. I don't, anyways. That would right. make sense, honestly. Um, it okay. Tastes very young. So though. from there, we got fifth place, class number two, 68. Wolcott, that was mine. All right, knock that shit out. Man, so that's that's the 1792 you one. You and I do not like young Barton. No, we don't. Like, In no way, shape, or form. The Kirklands we, we were out on. Yep. This we were out on. Mind you, this was one of the cheapest ones. This was 20 or 30 bucks. Yeah. So in its defense, it was not 50, but needless to say. Um, and then in fourth place, sorry, we have uh, the first glass we had, 97 points, almost got them triple digits. Winchester. <laughs> almost combining scores made 100. Yeah. Winchester. This is the, this is our That's A, this is a double. Hunter's bottle then. I told you, it's got that chocolatey bit on it. The first drink. I, I called that. I'm great at this. You have to play that back. I don't know if I did or not. I don't think you did. Okay. It smells like lemon. Just not anything else. Just lemon. Lemon. And grass, I guess. Maybe like a lemon grass. First loser. Oh, first I feel loser. good about this because wow. I have two in. I know which one won. Oh, no. <laughs> it has to be because it was the highest proof. And I um, have a cast strength one. 
I would like to change my score then. <laughs> I'm the winner. Dude, this filibuster, which people talk shit about, podiumed. Third place, yep. we have glass number three, 130 points. Was this the tricky one? It wasn't, I was wrong. Gypsy, third place. Now, Gypsy has on the top Great Lakes Finest embossed in the glass main, Petoskey, Michigan. Oh, didn't, didn't know that. Know that when we bought it. Produced and bottled by Gypsy Spirits. It's 75 corn, 21 rye, four malted barley. It's three years, it's this three-year-old MGP at 21%. Yeah. That's yeah. not bad at all. No. For being three, it's really fruit cocktail-y. It is. All right. I mean, that speaks to young MGP. Yeah. Um, second place, we have glass number four, 145 points. And then the winner is going to be glass six with 152 points. Only seven points difference. Ding, 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 ding. And it's not close. I know there's not. This a is really weird. That's not bad whiskey though. I wanna, does it say? That might be older Green River. With that yeah, green. Yeah, it says distilled the, in Kentucky. That uh, green apple? I don't wanna read this. Huh. Um, it is just the worst. Holy shit. It's a literal wall of text. Yeah. I, I, there's no other way to define that. I mean, it it kind of looks like a run on, like someone just <laughs> dictated this no, and then it, it just got printed off. It and looks like, like they dumped this in Photoshop, hit text and let that fill, you know what I'm saying? Left yeah. the fill on there. And it starts That's off crazy. with, in the summer of 1794. I'm out. <clears throat> I'm, I'm happy that, I mean. You did, you got two Overall, of, two I got three. two on the podium. Yeah, thank God I came in first. Cause like second or third here with you with the other two wouldn't work. Oof. Imagine you just getting nothing up there. Yeah. Oh, that would have been a bummer. Cause I, my, would have, I can't believe, him. or this is Bart. I don't know. This I, is very odd whiskey. It doesn't say a mash bill or just anything anywhere. I couldn't. Bottled by Kentucky Whiskey you're Bottling. Phone? Yeah, you're ringing. Suspected spam. Mm. Sounds good to me. It's only suspected. You should confirm, <laughs> maybe confirm deny. This is the longest. It's crazy, dude. There was a white flag wave. There's a whole thing. We love you guys for the birthday. There you go. Just, Disco, disco, disco. McFarlane's likes to party. It's, 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 it's. 